Hey guys, today we talk about the Air Max 97 in the cobblestone and white colorway. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. But you've all been waiting for the Air Max 97 in the cobblestone and white colorway. Man, oh man. Glad to have caught these sneakers right here. I love Air Max 97s, and it seems like this year, Nike is flooding the gates with these, and I'm really happy because I really love the silhouette. And for sure, for I'm gonna be copying many Air Max 97s because they're readily available right now, and we don't know the next time they will be hey. seen. So looking at the sneaker, a couple things stick out to me that I really like and appreciate about the sneaker overall. One, the colorway. I like that this tan, or what Nike refers to as a cobblestone colorway, is very subtle. On the insole of the sneaker, you'll notice that it's covered in a tan colorway and is surrounded by what seems to be a cotton material. You'll also see the traditional Nike swoosh on the inside. Going to the tongue of the sneaker, you'll also notice that it is also made up of a mesh material and also has the Nike swoosh at the top of the tongue. It also comes with a small pull tab at the top as well, which is a nice touch in my opinion. Also, it has 3M surrounding it as well, which is a cool touch that everybody loves and adores when it comes to the Air Max 97. On the medial and also the lateral portion of the sneaker, you'll also notice that there's more Nike logos. And at the back or the heel of the sneaker, you'll also notice a pull tab that demarcates Air Max. So looking at the sole of the sneaker, you'll notice that the air bubble unit traditionally associated with the Air Max 97 is sandwiched in between two portions of white rubber. I like that this unit is, you know, a big part of the Air Max 97 because I believe that it gives you extra flair when you're rocking it with your outfits. For shuffle. In addition to that, you'll notice that there's an additional Nike insignia on the bottom of the sneaker or the outsole of the sneaker and also on the heel portion of the sneaker as well. Pricing wise, these sneakers run for 160 US dollars. Sizing wise, I would say go a half size up. I always go with a size 13 in Air Max 97s and they fit me perfectly. So again, I would suggest going a half size up. That's a question of the day, guys. So we've had a lot of releases of the Air Max 97. In your opinion, what is your favorite Air Max 97 to release in 2017? Let me know down in the comment section below guys and let's talk about it. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please stay tuned for the on feet next. Please also like, comment, share, and subscribe. And again, I really appreciate all of you guys who support me and who are watching my videos. Let's continue to grow and I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuce. Deuce.